All right, it's slime time, huh? I'd be glad to. As you approach the dead man, you can feel the faint traces of his soul lingering, a stunned uncertainty holding it in place. When you near, without warning, the soul hurries toward you, as though you were a solitary light in the dark gloom of this place, come to usher it away. Its essence invades your consciousness. I realize I just kind of barreled straight into this. It's been a... I, I keep taking these big breaks between recording, and I... Yeah, I don't really remember what I'm doing. So I just saw a little purple light. I just saw a little ghosty, and I clicked it. And now we're here. You're in a different body now walking deeper into the catacombs, cloaked in a dark robe with a mask pulled over your face. You're following a familiar path along the canal, heading to a room built around a statue of a figure wearing a robe much like yours. Others await, clothed in hoods and shadows. Ahead is another figure dressed like you, traveling in the same direction. You don't know his name, and that's how it's supposed to be. Out of the darkness, something monstrous grabs the other figure. You turn to flee but find yourself face to face with a troll. The panic pounding through your brain is interrupted by razor-edged teeth and claws. You snap yourself out of the dead man's memory. The corpse lies on the damp and grimy ground. His hood and mask are missing and his clothes are shredded. Oh boy. Oh. It's slime time. Stand together. No, we do okay with trolls. I think we want to go with spirit shift because that's going to be more melee. And for right now, we'll let him use whatever he wants because he's Aravius and he's perfect and wonderful and I love him. As we all know. might be a little bit over leveled because I'm just kind of letting them auto run this. Absolutely. No, no, open that. I don't remember what's in here. Probably something that'll kick my ass, honestly. Oh. Following your lead. My brain is just not here right now. I'm just gone, man. But, I wonder if he can just turn into a giant cat and have a nice chat with you. That'd be hot, huh? I think it'd be hot. I'm gonna grave rob some Valoon. Valoon's namesake is a yellow-orange fruit found in Old Valia. These clear gemstones bear a similar yellow-orange color, and are often cut like rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. Most of the world's known Valoon mines have long since dried up and the stone has become one of the most sought after in recent years. And like I said, I gotta get back into the swing of, uh, this. I was thinking about adding in another game to the old, I guess, rotation. Maybe on Saturdays, playing something that isn't, uh, just a reading? Really? I was thinking maybe Fallout 3 
or Borderlands. I don't know. Oh, Bioshock. I gotta get to Bioshock, because I still haven't played that one. These are little backer notes, which is cute. But I'm not going to read them right now. Is this trapped? Hello. What's this all about? Hmm. Hello? <laughs> I forget. I gave him good mechanics, right? Yep. Don't blow us up. Certainly. It's all right, Hera. You'll get it next time. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Who was that, Durrance? That didn't sound like Durrance. We got Paradox. We got those. Boring. And we don't have Fennings. Large silver coin used for large transactions in the Edir Empire and many of their colonial territories. And some lockpicks. I don't know. I have. A, I, th I think Bioshock might be fun to play. I know I don't have a ton of viewers, but if anyone has any recommendations, any preferences for something that isn't quite so much reading, let me know. Leave a comment. That's the wrong button. I need to see. Alright. Now we're gonna go meet another friend. It's a yarn! <laughs> this small Orlin man appears to have pulled together some crates and scraps of cloth to make a rather sorry looking little camp. The thick fur on his limbs is matted, and his clothing is smeared with blackening grime. He looks startled as you enter, his eyes widening in alarm. How do you do? After a moment, however, he smiles weakly. Hello there. Wasn't expecting any visitors down in these parts. He glances around the dim room. What are you doing down here? Aeorn grimaces. I've been a little down in my luck lately. Didn't have anywhere to stay, so I thought I'd come down here. Nobody pokes around in the catacombs much. Not until you, anyway. There are less dangerous places to live as meager a life. You're hiding from something. Or someone. Aorn looks around the dingy chamber and nods slowly, expression pained. Yeah, I guess that's plain enough to see. He sighs heavily. Very well. It's true. I've been hiding from the knights down here, but it isn't what you think. He ducks his head. It was an accident. It's been hard for me, here in Defiance Bay. I suppose I thought if I got involved in city business, if I made the right friends, it would get easier in time. And it did, really. I made a name for myself, a place. People actually listen to me when I talk. Well, they used to. People can get very passionate about these things. We were discussing, I think it was shipping agreements, of all the things to fight over. But this one night, this man, he got very angry. I think maybe he'd had a little too much at the inn. Aeorn pauses. And I guess he didn't like an Orlin talking back at him. I struck him. He came towards me, and I hit him, and he went over like a tree. I guess he struck his head on the way down. Aorn lowers his gaze and shrugs helplessly. Turns out he was a knight. The Crucible Knights won't care how it happened. They just want to see me gone. They won't let me live long enough to see the rope. Please. He looks at you with a pleading expression. I just want to get out of this city. The second I can get money for passage, I won't trouble anyone again. I swear it. I'll live quietly. But you can't... Please. You can't tell them I'm here. Oh, my, 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 my dear Yorn. Here. Three hundred copper should be enough to buy your passage out of Defiance Bay. Aorn stares at you in disbelief. But, but this is... His face twists as he struggles for words. They said you were a kind soul, but I wouldn't have imagined. 
This will see me out of the city, and well away. I'm not sure I could ever thank you enough. But here, take this. I hope it's some use to you on your journey. You have my lasting gratitude, friend. I... I should get ready. And that's what I meant by, like, Orleans being more realistic than a lot of... We'll, we'll read that later. Um, a lot of, like, fantasy stand-ins for oppressed groups. A wobbly little tent that's barely standing. A smoldering fire is strewn with the meager remains of a recent meal. Fish bones, a molded rind of cheese, and a blackened bread crust. It's because, you know, I don't think I'm in the headspace to really dissect this stuff. But, you know, unfortunately, I'm not in the headspace to discuss this stuff. Keep a yarn in your mind, in your thoughts, in your heart, where he is for me. Always in my heart. I love a yarn. Need something? I'll tinker with that. What could go wrong? <laughs> Fucking bubsy ass. Oh crap. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Let's pull these fellas out of here. We're gonna rest after. We're gonna rest after this. Oh crap. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna take a nap. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sneak up on you. I just... Well, you seemed... preoccupied. you just begun to stretch and soothe the aches from your body when you feel Aloth over your shoulder. He looks away quickly when you notice him, kneading his hands into squirming fists. What's on your mind? I suppose I've just noticed you acting a little, uh... unusual lately. Talking to people who aren't there, remembering flashbacks of your previous life. I, I just want to make sure you're doing all right. He seems to be wringing each bead of sweat from his fingers, staring at a spot on the ground. It's not like he's not perceptive. He's a hunter and I should have made his perception higher. There's some items, I think, that boost perception that'll help later on with dialogue stuff. I think he'd just say, yes, I am. Ah, well, good. I should let you rest. It looks like we'll have another full day tomorrow. He looks away again. Yeah, yeah, I... Sorry for the very lackluster commentary. Like I said, my brain is just not here right now. It's been almost a month, and I just don't remember how to talk into a microphone. So that one's on me. Most importantly, Haravius is here. It shouldn't matter how lackluster my commentary is, because you can just look at Haravius in the corner there. I have to, I have to start using skills and stuff. See, the last game I played was another RPG, Baldur's Gate, which I only played a bit of, and I had it on, on story mode at one point, and I'm Absolutely. just having trouble adjusting to, uh, Hello. Hello? actually paying attention to skills and where characters are and who's attacking what. Let's see what lies this way. Ooh. Fine scale armor. When I can actually maybe next maybe next time I'll be functioning enough to uh, give some analysis. It's also a thing to play in Baldur's Gate, maybe. Cause I didn't really vibe with it. 
but I think I could desperately squeeze some uh, enjoyment out of it. Baldur's Gate, Bioshock, possibly Borderlands. You know, any 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 B named game that you think I should uh, play for my silly little YouTube channel? You just let me know. Robbie's is confused. <laughs> Good job, Thorn. Good job, buddy. You did it for your friends, man. Oh, fuck. Just in case. The armor's a just in case sort of thing. Oh, thank God, there's more trolls. Oh, God damn it! This shouldn't be. This shouldn't be hard. I shouldn't be having trouble here. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be having. Tr I'm gonna die. Sorry. Ah, and rough. Not like that. Wait, is he alive? I'm here. Why are you alive? What the hell? I thought you died. Okay, are you alive? No. Hey. That surprises me somehow. <laughs> Heravius is good, by the way. I'm just bad at playing the game. Following your lead. No, you're bad at the sword. We're not gonna give you the sword. You're so fucked, man. I mean, I'm doing my best here, but we're very fucked. Fucking yeah. path of the damned. Whatever. We'll die. Fine. I wanted some sort of hook, you know, and I was like, well, people will watch this if it's Path of the Damned. That'll... That'll do it. And do people watch it? No. People don't watch this. I sit here and I talk to myself about Orlin racism. Poorly, might I add, at least today. No, I have no saves in this, thank Your you. Your brother. Did you and he get along? At once. We got along how brothers do. He used to throw water on me to wake me up in the morning. I used to fill his boots with stinging ants. My own brothers and sisters are doing very well for themselves, back in Tokoa. I don't know that they'd search for me if I were killed so far from home. Brothers can be funny. I bet you'd be surprised how far they'd go. That's awesome. Unfortunately, we have to load a different save, so this game, uh, this conversation hasn't happened. I feel like Sober Tired Absolutely. Vampire is much worse at this than uh, Buzzed Tired Vampire. Granted, Buzzed Tired Vampire did not have to do any fights. He got to sit there and cry over Heravius. A lot more giggle, I suppose. And that was that. Now this I can handle because it's a slime. Oh no, two slimes. I better watch out. <laughs> I'm using different recording settings and I can't tell if I'm just not recording or if it's just way better performance because I'm not using NVEC or whatever. I could not... Even with an infinite number of hours, and infinite pints of alcohol, explain to you how little I understand technology. We could be here for years. And you'd still be like, wait, wait, you don't know what that means? And I'd be like, no. 
What do you think I have? Brain cells? God. Why? Why is... No, because he got knocked out. Oh my god, he's used all- okay, well we're gonna- okay, we're gonna have to turn that off then, immediately. Look at him, though. call it cat form. I never bothered with this, honestly. Like I said, I played on easy mode when I finished this before. I don't know what the fuck any of this means. Haravia starts with so much shit. <laughs> it's overwhelming to me. <laughs> Damn it. I really don't want him to get too many injuries. Because if he dies, my entire life will end. He's the only character I'm willing to save Scum for. So maybe for... Maybe have him be... Support? I think having him spirit shift is the best idea. But this is like the third time he's died, so maybe Absolutely. not. I was gonna say I should save. Um, I didn't save. We didn't do much, it's okay. Damn, that's just the ideal, though. Like an attractive... An attractive short man with a lot of body har and facial scar... Body... Body hair. Not horror. Fuck me, I don't know how to talk anymore. I forgot how to do that. God damn it. I can't talk or play video games, I'm... Useless. Yeah, he's just the ideal. Cause he's, he's either a hot, a hot guy who's like three foot eight, or he's a sexy giant cat. Who's like clever and caring and friendly. Yeah. He's just fucking perfect. He's the ideal man. Unfortunately, he's fictional. Yes. Anyway, you want to make you want to make some skeleton on skeleton violence because I think I do. Oh, this is vessels. Does it hurt vessels? Yeah. Okay, well that's good at least. Haravius is still holding in there. Like I said, he's good. We gotta take better care of that He's alive still! And he's immortal. He's got a great personality, he's hot, and he, it's really hard to kill. I mean, he did die there, but he's hard to kill. Hey, can you uh, please hit the wizards that are killing us? They're just wizards. They should be pretty squishy. No, fuck you, we're running. 
coward's way, baby! Right away. Oh no, it's Haravius who got back up, and he's probably gonna die if he... No fucking way, man. Oh, no fucking way, man. No. No fucking way. I don't care if we if we lose hours of progress. I don't care if I sit here for eight hours at some point and I don't save. If Haravius dies, we're gonna go back and we're gonna do those eight hours all over again, baby. No fucking way. This is the only exception. I don't care who else dies. I don't care to. what I fuck up. We'll leave it. It's canon. Horavius cannot die. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> sorry, sorry it was so weird. I mean, I think usually it's about like positivity or grifting or whatever, but not like this. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I didn't like that. I really hope we're recording. It looks way too fucking smooth. It'd be great if we were recording. And I just have like a nice smooth video for once. That'd be awesome. Do we want to go down there? I guess. I've, I've put a shit ton of hours into this game, but it's it's been a long while since I've done the real early game stuff, so... I thought this was the leaden key, yeah. In front of you looms the ghostly, hollow image of the man who is present at your awakening. He casts a pale, sickly light in the dank corridor as he regards you. You are from Kratu, my boy. His words are an echo in your mind from a time long past, and you know your response before you speak it, as if it has always been. I don't know. Hmm, I'm trying to think what would be the most interesting. I don't know if they should parallel the old Valia stuff with Thorn. Like he embarked this place and just got too wrapped up in some shit. I'll flip a coin for it. Let's see, let's see, where's my special little shrine coin? Ah. Oh. Heads for one. Heads. Yes, I was born there. A remarkable city. Truly one of the most impressive we have encountered outside of our own. Many exceptional people who have joined our cause come from Kratum. What made you decide to join our order? The thing is, because it's, it's past life stuff, and I'm not sure who Thorn was. What if Thorn was just a real shitty person? What if Thorn was just a piece of garbage? No, no, I don't, I don't like that with the Glanfath and stuff. If he's like a like a formal colonialist in one of his past lives, I don't like that. Let's get the coin back out. I can't find it, but I found a bottle cap, which is similar. Got one again, so your teachings spoke to me. The gods are just, and they care for their faithful. I think that speaks to many people. Are you ready to take the oath? To spread the word of the gods to the lost and heathen. I am. We'll just keep using coins, I guess. Why not to decide, like, who Thorn was until I get, like, a good idea or... If I get a good idea or start to want to take it in a certain direction. What's all this, then? Now this is interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Hera. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which is not very quiet. Certainly. Ah, yep, that sucks. Not to alarm you, but I'm slowly <laughs> dying. <laughs> I love that line. Torques or stiff rings worn around the neck. That's what that's called. To perception. We can choose dialogue options. Thank God for that. Thank God for Thorn's cool new necklace. And his stupid fucking hat. That's why he looks like that. Oh, it's a ring? It's a, what is this? It's a ring? 
I didn't it say it was a necklace? Stiff rings worn around the neck. I don't think I understand. Where does it go? It goes on the cape. Okay, that's fine. This cape doesn't do anything. God, I wish we could see his ears so bad instead of his hat. Wow. I don't remember these being that bad. Crit multiplier bonus plus 10. I mean 0 0.1. Rabbit fur gloves appeared in deer and fables and bedtime stories for hundreds of years, typically as lucky gifts to individuals of particular virtue. The gloves were first mentioned in a bedtime story about a girl who, in the midst of a famine, gave a piece of fruit to an elderly crone. The old woman in turn gave rabbit fur gloves to the girl, and though it was summer, she accepted them graciously. She wore them, and managed to forage enough to feed her family. And a few short seasons later, she became a hunter of uncanny skill. In other stories, the gloves are given to brave warriors, hard-working servants, and honest shopkeepers. The last story to mention the gloves is that of the notorious pickpocket Sandarin, who lost them when he stole an apple from a wizened old crone. Although the gloves appear to be sewn from the fur of different rabbits, there is no detectable seam between the many-colored pelts. They're soft and cozy, yet when you put your hands in them, your fingers still feel quick and nimble. A rabbit's foot dangles from the left glove, and their natural warmth suggests the presence of essence. We got the, That's what we got from a yarn. I'm sure someone smarter than me can figure out, like, whatever metaphors are there. I don't know who should get those. Uh, for, for now, we'll give them to Aravius, I suppose. I don't know. You know, I don't know where, like, the crit chance and everything are. I, I don't know. I, I would probably put that with, like, a rogue, but we don't get a rogue for a while yet. Um, unless we decide to make one. Make another adventurer. Which I don't think we'll do. At once. See, I'm getting back into the swing of it now. I just have to not go too long without recording again. The mercenary eyes you warily as you approach, his weapon readied. What are you doing here? You don't look like one of the masked lot. Relax. How would I know to be here if I didn't belong? He thinks carefully, then nods. All right, then. Go on in and report to the Acolyte, and she'll give you your assignment. They should be just about finished with their meeting in the big chamber. Ooh, we'll leave it on a cliffhanger. Join me in two weeks, or possibly three, or four, or eight, who knows. And we'll find out what's gonna happen in the big chamber. And maybe I'll remember how to discuss media by then, and I can tell you my thoughts in a yarn succinctly beyond, wow, what a cool racism allegory. It's just that it's realistic, you know? It's just the cops, they're targeting him, and they're gonna kill him because they don't like the fact that an Orlin spoke to them that way. And because the 